How's it going guys and girls? Welcome back. I had a bit of a uh, request to do a melt. See how I did it last time. So um, I've got a bit of gold here I'm going to melt down. I'll give you a weight before I melt it and purify it. We'll see how much weight it actually loses in uh, the purification. And then um, for this one I'm going to make a about, make it down to about 12 carat. So um, I've got some old Australian one cent coin which is made of copper and nickel which is uh, good to, to mix with the gold and bring the carrot down and, and give it a bit of strength because uh, I'm going to attempt to make a ring out of this one. So hopefully it all turns out. Anyway, get in it. So we've got pretty much 2 grams, 2.093, so almost 2.1 grams. Uh, first we'll uh, melt it down and then um, purify it. And uh, then we'll get another weight of just the gold on its own before we uh, start mixing it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is got some borax here. I'm going to, uh, what I've found is, if you just try and melt the gold straight into, on top of the, the terracotta. I haven't got a proper crucible at the moment, but this terracotta seems to work. It does crack sometimes, but what you want to do, stop the gold from sticking, is, is get a bit of this uh, borax melted and get a layer on the bottom first before you put the gold in. And then put borax on top and uh, get it melted. So I'm using uh, Trade Flame to uh, map gas blowtorch. Generates quite a lot of heat, works quite well. You can see by the yellow flame that it's oxidizing. That's what borax is, it's an oxidizer. So it oxidizes all the oxides in the impurities, so it's pretty light, so it does get blown around everywhere, but... It sort of melts like glass once it melts. Blowing around and everywhere, but... There she goes, she's cracked. <laughs> Alright, she'll still work. Alright, see how we've got a nice sort of pad there? We'll tip the gold in. And a nice little pile in the middle there. Push it all together in a bit of a pile that will actually move and bond together once it gets going. It's got an old drill bit there. This is red hot. A little bit of gold there over there, right. Get a little bit of a pile going in the middle. Right. No, the gold actually melts pretty quickly, surprising how fast. Oh, a little bit that's got away from us there. It's alright, it's okay. Melt now in a nice little ball. Then we get that other little ball over there. See that one? I'm going to move this one over. That little ball, there we go. Join the crowd.
right, we're gonna get some borax on top of that now. Help purify it up. Like that. Forming now. There we go. We're getting a nice little little button forming in the middle, if you can see it. Move, moving around a bit, see like that? Once you can start moving it around a bit. Cool down now. Let that cool down and then we'll get that button out and uh, throw on the scales and see what she weighs after. Now it's been uh, purified, it should be almost 24 carat, pretty much 24 carat. Okay, bit our little button. It's turned out quite well. You can see she's uh, very nice and shiny. What happens is if you do a melt without using borax, your button will be black. It'll be covered in all the impurities on the outside. So what the borax does is remove all those impurities and you end up with a pure 24 karat gold button. Alright, so let's see how much it was. So it was 2.09 grams we started with. So now we're at 1.998. So it's about 0.1, almost on the dot, 0.1 we lost. Um, so that was basically just the impurities in the gold of, of 0.1, which isn't too bad at all. Most of this gold is 23 carat, so I wouldn't expect to lose too much. Um, but yeah, very nice. So pretty much two grams. So now what I'm going to do is get my one cent coin. Um just an old Aussie one cent coin. Um, I'm gonna try and match the weight. So it's gonna make it like 50-50 basically. So that weighs 2.6. So I'm gonna trim a bit, a, bit, a bit of this off and try and get around the two gram mark. So we can mix the gold button with the copper and make about 12 carat. Okay, I got me a little Dremel. I'm gonna Cut a bit off this one cent piece and try and get it down to about two grams in weight. And hold it still. Okay, I've chopped the down. I think it's get close to two grams now. Oh, oh 1.9. That's nah, close enough. That should make it about about 12 carat, a bit over 13 maybe. With that, uh, so we've got about 3.8 grams to make a ring. That shouldn't be too bad. All right, so we're basically going to repeat the whole process again. A little bit of borax in the bottom. Give it a melt. Throw our copper and gold in and let's melt away. Alright, move around a bit more. Oops, put some on top. Forgot about that. 
you can just cover it in it if this stuff I found more the better Our coin starting to melt now. You see the coin and the gold are bonding together. Now we've got a big pile of silver stuff bouncing around. Still not quite hot enough yet. When it's really hot and mixed well, it'll go into like a nice ball. You can see it moving around in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Alright. Just let it cool down. Oh, we'll see how she looks when she's cooled down. If it's still got a bit of black and stuff on it, we might have to uh, go with some more borax again to help help clean it up a bit more. But I'll give you a look when she's cooled down. Okay, see how our button's black? That's how it goes when the impurities haven't all been taken out. That's what happens if you melt gold without borax. It looks, turns out it looks like that. So we've got to continue, remelt again, more borax, and get rid of those impurities. There we go. Now she's rolling. See how this one looks. I might have to do it again. If it doesn't clean up, we'll see. Okay, I've done it about three times now. It's getting there. But you can still see there's a bit of black on there. That's what we want to get rid of to purify this, this nugget. About 12 grams. About 12 carats, sorry. Um, as you see, that, that gold was, was pure and clean. That one cent piece that I melted down obviously was quite dirty and had some impurities in it and that's where all that's come from so we'll give another meltdown hopefully one more should do the trick and she should be looking nice alrighty so we've got our 12 karat cold button let's see took quite a few goes um, I'd probably recommend if you're ever gonna do it don't use a uh, dirty old copper coin because uh, yeah, it took a bit to get it get it clean with all the all the dirty stuff in there. Had to do it about four times with the borax, but uh, yeah, it came out nice. It's ready to be uh, melted down and and made into something. Um, it'll come up a lot shiny with a nice polish, but yeah, see how much she weighs. Three point six grams. So there's about, what did I say? Yeah, so it's about half half now. So it's about 12 carats, maybe a little bit more. Because it started with 2 grams of gold. So 1.6 copper. So yeah, probably about 14 carat. So, beauty.